Hey, it's Mike, welcome to the channel. So let's talk about clarity and visibility inside of JSM because very often if your project is getting a little bit busier, you're gonna start receiving a lot of tickets So how to control them. There's actually a lot of methods how to do it and I also recommend proper configuration of queues, filters, reports, but also utilizing board because what is a board? Board actually, it is a Kanban board inside of your JSM. It's a very powerful tool. And to my surprise, still some people do not fully utilize it. So in this video, I'm gonna show actually how to do it, how to configure it. I'm gonna give you my steps. And also there's this another method, like a little bit more advanced, how to actually configure multiple boards for project. That's 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 really, really important on that. Okay, but before we just get because before we jump into the subject, just to let you know in the description and the first comment, you're gonna find a link to my link tree where we offer a 30 minute consultation to six hours consultation one day, from one day to three days training. I also just posted brand new training course dedicated to uh, JSM. So you're gonna find more information in the description. If you're unsure if, if that is gonna work for you, why not booking also that uh, 30 minutes free discovery call with me or someone from my team. All right, now let's go back quickly to the video. And as I told you, there is actually all the way how to do it, but let's focus, let's focus on that first primary method. And we're gonna start configuring this very, very quickly. Yeah? So we're just gonna move move quickly from that. Okay, so first, of course, you need to use um, JSM in a company managed type because there's still that little bit of confusion that doesn't allow us to create team managed uh, projects. So this is actually a company managed because in team managed, it's probably different. And additionally, Atlassian is also changing a lot of, a lot of actually um, uh, plans features. Yeah, so ho let's hope uh, boards are gonna stay for the free plan because unfortunately, you know, the, the price go up and um, they move some some features uh, into into actually a premium uh, JSM premium. But anyway, if your board is already there, that's excellent. We're gonna start doing this very 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 soon in a second. But if it's not there and you would like to activate it, make sure if you are project administrator, you go to the project settings go to, uh, not forms, actually, but that was a previous video, go to features, yeah, and make sure that the board is activated. And now you actually should see this, you should see the board on top of this, on that left-hand side, okay. okay. And of course, you now my config is already done, I've already done it, this is the reason why I would like to share it with you, just to show you now how to start. And um, generally speaking, when we start working with a board, always go to the uh, configure it. Yeah, because actually, you know, they call it board, but it's actually Kanban board. Because you know, some people are still not familiar with agile methodology, and it could be confusing. Like, what is a Kanban? Okay, so I'm gonna actually skip the general. However, this is actually the place where you can adjust the name, uh, add administrators, also filters. That is very, very important. But let's actually first focus on uh, columns. So I'm gonna stop for, 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 for a minute over here because this is actually a very important step and you probably, uh, if you would like to introduce the board to your, to your JSM project, you're gonna probably spend a lot of time on this, why? Because that one little small, small, small downside what I've been actually talking in the beginning is that um, at the moment, Atlassian is not allowing us to create multiple boards for the JSM project. Well, not really, because you can do it. Maybe if it's, if it's enough time, I can actually show you by the end of this video, there is that second method. But what I'm talking about, there is no such thing. You're gonna, for instance, create a board for, I don't know, this is gonna be for one status and this is gonna be for another status. Yes, there is actually for for for, for request type, sorry. Uh, because status is also possible. and. Of course, you know, we're gonna actually utilize uh, filters, quick filters, maybe even swim lines to do it. But um, this is the reason why there's actually so many uh, statuses over there and they need to be mapped in the right order. Yeah. So for example, if I use uh, like work in progress, waiting for a customer, that is definitely uh, blocked. Yeah. And the blocked, um, now, you know, even the name, just putting the right name, you know, what is, what is blocked. So this is the reason why uh, especially when I work with clients, I always, always, you know, spend time on this and I just train them because sometimes, you know, the, the status is also not not telling people a lot uh, regarding the names, you know, like for example, pending. I've got very often people asking me like, what, what is, what is pending? You know? So you can just, and we can actually, this is the reason why we can map it into the better name of the statuses, yeah? 
like for example wait, work in progress that's definitely in progress authorized mm, i'm not sure about this so this is actually just a demo this is the reason why i'm not gonna say it's a correct correct mapping but you know what i'm talking about so now additionally you need to make a decision if you're gonna use for every single uh, request type, or maybe you just wanna, you know, for, for the beginning, just start with one. If that's gonna be just one, of course, that statuses which are not present, like they're failed, you can definitely unmap that statuses. But trust me, you're gonna actually come back to this uh, multiple, multiple ties. Yeah, so this actually process is very, very simple because you can add a new column and just start mapping until the map is well is is correct yeah next one of course you know we need to cover very very soon uh, swim lanes and quick filters and you know just like i i sometimes i also um, play a little bit with the with the uh, card uh, colors we've got different from the request types you have got to assign is only problem is if we go for for example request types i've got so many request types sometimes you know just 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 changing the color to uh, to uh, different request types it doesn't really work so most most of the time i'll be using between assignees and my own uh, queries which i will be actually creating myself yeah additionally we have this extra um, card fields and by default is actually time to resolution but if you would like to change it like to time to response or time or whatever sla you've got no problem you can do it also do not recommend to add it too many of them because it is are we also going to add a uh, days in a column because you can only hold those three statuses so now let's go back to the columns and look at this we actually got that little bit extra modifications even you know that adding that extra information about the dots actually representing how many days and uh, that ticket or issue spent in that column and actually moving tickets from a column to column is very 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 simple yeah so that process is actually really really straightforward but okay what now if we would like to um utilize in a lot in let's say in a better better way so definitely definitely i recommend to actually play a little bit with the statuses and request types why because as you can know and even you know i i use demo project i already got something like i don't know maybe less than 100 tickets and and it's already a way too much tickets on the board you know i cannot manage them all of them so this is the reason why uh, just that, that that using that statuses can give you extra clarity and highly highly recommend you uh, to use it plus additionally you know if we've got a few a few agents you know each agent can of course use a different a different mapping of this actually filters yeah and i also recommend uh, to start utilizing almost from the front beginning request types because as I told you, you know maybe we have an um, ID you know maybe we've got a problem and of course as you can actually see that filters can be mixed up together it's a little bit shame in my opinion that you cannot um, um you cannot save them. like i'm talking about like url you know because unfortunately if you uh, if you well fortunately it's like this if you for example select that uh, filters and you refresh that view it will remember in your browser but you know if you've got five or six different agents obviously everyone can uh, needs to actually set this um, uh, specifically for this but not a really big 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 deal because why you can of course use quick filters yeah i highly highly recommend to to use quick filters and why because maybe you would like to have some combination between status maybe and the request type and if you know that with jql you don't know really you don't need to know very 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 well jql you can always go into the board settings go to configure board oh, it's actually yeah it's looping so i have to refresh um, and if you configure board go to go to quick filters and just start you know you just need you need of course need a little bit jql uh start adding your own uh quick filters it's the same for swim lines however swim lines actually because what's the difference between quick filters sometimes people say like what's the difference between quick filters and swim lines very simple quick filters will just basically um, uh, if it's something is marked the rest of the tickets are i are hidden on the on the board but but the but the uh, swim lines they, they call them groups actually putting the issues into the cluster it's a great 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 way highly highly recommend to use this let's let's have a look how that looks if you go by group by yeah and for example we go for the request type. It's actually really good it's about out of the box by the, by the way it's out of the box uh, configuration as you can actually see we already have got you know so much more clarity you know still you know probably too many tickets and and obviously 
again, that works in a combine of filters. So you can just enable, for example, just IT help and for example, group by the request type. Actually great, great, great uh, tool. And when we talk about improving a clarity and visibility. And of course, we've got actually a few more, just with just, just one more minute, because as I told you, uh, that little problem, potential, potential, potential issue with, with the board is that you cannot uh, configure uh, multiple boards. However, what you can do if you are just planning, for example, if you if you can if you think oh I can't be bothered with basically that uh, request types or I just don't, can't be bothered with with quick filters, you just want to maybe uh, change the board only for one request type. Absolutely, you can do it. Please don't forget you can always go into the board settings and just adjust, go to the general, and you can just adjust a JQL, yeah? and that's it. But obviously, that will be a global change, global, not the global, global for Jira, but the global on, on, on the project. Of course, you know, there is another way you can uh, create a board in almost any other Scrum or Kanban project. Like for example, this one, this Scrum, sometimes I've got a request like this. I don't really like it, but you know, if that works for a client, they wanna, they wanna see inside of the Scrum project um tickets or issues or requests from the from the from the from the, from the JSM absolutely possible you're basically going to the uh, JSM must be of course in a company managed project you go to the create board and now you're going to start configuring that board and assign tickets from that specific project inside of this project that's absolutely possible so this is that another method and and it was actually for 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 for, for a while and additionally this is that method second method how to create multiple boards for your JSM project, a little bit more advanced. So if you need the help, you can of course always contact us with that. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment if you've got a comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and of course, as I told you before, in the description you're going to find a link to our free and paid services. So if you need 30 minutes consultation, six hours, or you're unsure, you can still book that 30 minutes free call with us uh, right now. And the next video about the JSM should start playing right there. So you can or you can actually click on the playlist. All right. Thank you.